So what does your company actually do? When people visit your website, they need to know what your company does in less than three seconds. Yes, less than three seconds. So what we need to do here is to craft what is known as a value proposition. Basically, this is a statement that uh, talks about what your website does, a brief description and also a call to action. I've got a few examples that I want to share with you. So in our first example here, we have Project Bubble. So what do they do? Straight away, we can see here, they say manage more projects in less time. Simple online project management and time tracking software. This is perfect. I mean, it tells you exactly what it does. And also on the call to action here, it says begin your 14 day trial and then it asks for your email address and then button to start the trial. So let's go on to our next example, which is Skype, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Now here straight away, it tells you what they do. So you can see here, it's about video calling, messaging, and you can share with everyone for free. And then for the call to action, it says download Skype. So this is what I'm talking about. Crafting your message is very, very important. Okay, so let's move on to our next example, and this is Proton Mail. Now here we have a secure email based in Switzerland. The next thing is secure email communications with Proton Mail. This is what they do. And then the call to action they have here, get your encrypted email account. On the right here, to complement uh, what's being talked about, they also have a mobile device which also emphasizes the fact that this is to do with emails. So I think this is a, this is a well-crafted uh, landing page. Okay, let's move on to the next one, and this is Badu. And here, when you land on the website, the graphic really grabs you, it shows you what it's all about, and then it goes into meet new people with over 296 million users. So this is all about uh, chatting, making friends, sharing interests, and they make it very visible on their statement here on the landing page. And then for the call to action, they have here, download your free app. Finally, we have Sky Prep. Again, when you land on the website, the visual shows you what roughly it's all about. And here it's all about online training made simple, successfully transitioned to an online training software. Again, you know, this describes what the company does. And then for the call to action, it's about um, get started today. So all you have to do is to enter your company name and your email address. So this is what you need to be thinking about when you create your landing page for your businesses. Otherwise, you are actually driving people away and giving them extra time to try and work out what your company does. So these pages created in these examples I've just shown you tend to work very well compared to websites that have so much information on the landing page, which makes it difficult for the visitor to work out what information is important and what they need to do next. So bear this in mind when you design your landing pages for your businesses. I hope this information helps. For more tips like these, go to creativeastro.tv and please subscribe to our mailing list. And also we're on social media, uh, Facebook, Google+, Twitter. Hey, just follow us. Thank you for watching.